Yeah, I think that's exactly right, Jim. And the thing is, there's some interesting features ongoing right now. It looks like we're starting to see a circulation intensify just to the west of the Big Island. You were telling me about that. And so that may become a dominant circulation. Now, it's somewhat related to Isel, but it's also related to the flow over the mountains and the downstream effects of that. You were pointing that out to me. That was a good call. Yeah, uh, yeah. Somebody actually, I can't take credit for that. It's a Hurricane uh, Track app. Uh, he's the one who sent it out to me, and that kind of started this whole conversation. Uh, the other thing we should point out too, from the radar, folks, take a look at the radar here uh, one more time, because I'm sure a lot of you are going like, why is like the precip all of a sudden uh, just going away? If you look at the radar, you're thinking, well, it can't just shut off like that. But what you're not seeing is the topography there. I mean, you go right up in elevation with the mountains, so you have a distinct cutoff where you can't see over the mountains. It's still precipitating there, but there's a distinct cutoff because of the beam uh, not being able to get over Mauna Loa. And uh, Catherine Prosip uh, pointed that out on a tweet, which I just retweeted. And so believe me, that's why the flood warning goes well to the west, up to the peak of, uh, of Loa. And that's why you see, uh, again, the precip missing because the beam just can't get up over the top of that mountain. Uh, unfortunately, we can't have radars all over the place, uh, especially in the mountain areas, but that's what's happening. I just wanna let everybody know. All right, Postel, Sam, back to you. All right, thank you, Jim.